fellow backyard barbecues. Today is a day of all days, man. We are cooking for numerous people. Just at the house, man. Got uh, family in town. We just gonna have a good time today, man. I'm gonna put uh, three slabs of ribs on. I'm gonna do about 50 leg quarters. I'm gonna do some sausage. I got brisket that I'm transferring over here from my uh, Kamado grill. Look out for that video. Um, what else we got? Oh, and hot dog. I think that's about it, man. So, we're gonna get to it. I ain't gonna do the seasoning and all that. I'm just gonna come back when it's time to put it on the grill and then we're gonna go from there, y'all. Gonna have a good day today. Enjoy. What's up, y'all? About to get it going. Got the ribs on there because that's the longest thing I'm cooking today. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put these on. Roughly five hours. I'm gonna cook them straight. No three, two, one method. No two, two, one method. I took spare ribs, trimmed them up to a uh, St. Louis style. Um, once I actually take them out of my container right here, I'm gonna show you how they look, uh, how I squared them up. Um, my electric knife stopped working, so I just ordered another one off Amazon. So I have that one. So I have that perfect cut. Definitely need that for catering, right? You know, it's all about prettiness when you're cooking ribs with them with customers. Um, if you're out there in the catering business, but these I just use a regular knife, so and it's for home, so I got country family, so they'll be all right, I think so. So let's get to it, man. Grills up the temp. We're gonna do it. Let's see what we're working with here, y'all. Let me bring the camera around so y'all can see. See my ribs, that way I ain't gotta walk around the door. Since it's just me right now, I got help waking up. All right, look at that. See that? Not too bad for a knife, huh? I got chicken going on later, so definitely wanna uh, kinda keep everything separate. You don't wanna mix ribs and chicken when you're cooking, or I don't anyway. So, this is part of the meat. Let me show you a good piece. It comes off the spare rib. Yep, you see them perfect cut? Well, almost perfect cuts that I cut. That's part of what comes off of it. We call them rib tip. All right. I'll chop those up. Good for finger food. A finger food for me, because I'm the cook. And they wonder why the cook always full. Well, now you know. So, throw these on. And we're going to get to it. See y'all in a few. Alright, everybody, we back. It's been two hours. It's time for me to put my chicken on and spritz my uh, ribs. Got a concoction here of brown sugar and apple juice. I put the brown sugar on the stove, mix in apple juice, and let it dissolve. And then it make, works real, real, work real well with this sprayer. So all I'm gonna do, spray it. Keep it moist. And then put my chicken on. Easy day. I'll come back in a minute when I got the chicken on. All right, here we go, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and pile this chicken on. Yeah. Yeah, this chicken is looking good. Hey, the key is, I'm stacking my chicken up based on the seasoning. Um, keeping them aligned with each other so that the season when it drips it drips down my other chicken will be right here and it will drip down on each other that way I don't mix the seasoning and the taste is pretty much the same on all my chicken because I got two different flavors all right. yeah this is uh, approximately 50 pieces of chicken some of it's jerk, some of it's my own particular recipe. Looking good. 
look, you get the picture. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. And we'll be back in about an hour when I gotta spray the ribs again. All right, we back. Been another hour. Show y'all what this thing looks like. I'm gonna spray my little secret, secret ingredient, which you already know. I'm gonna let y'all look. Spray the chicken. Keep it from getting dry. Now you can see. There we go. Bam. Chicken everywhere. There you go. Look at them ribs coming along. Yep. Anyway, I'm about to close this. Got another hour and a half on these ribs, and then uh, we'll be done. Hopefully, the chicken's done too in about an hour and a half. We'll see. See y'all a little bit. All right, y'all, you know what time it is. Time to go and crank this thing Go. Let y'all see what this thing looking like. Yeah. Yeah, the ribs looking real nice. Chicken coming along. Coming along real nice. Yeah. See it. Anyway, the next time you see this, it should be panned up. So uh, we'll show you the final product in a little bit, y'all. All right. Give y'all the last look at this uh, one of the ribs is done. Yeah, you see, that's what paprika do. Look at that reddish color. Oh, that's for one spare rib. Well, two spare ribs, actually. The trimmings. And then look at the color of the rib. So I'm about to put it in the warmer because it's done. It's already drawn back off the bone. Gonna put a little bit of foil on it. Got a little juice in there. Actually, let's see the juice I got in there. Bet you wonder how I get that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up a little bit of foil and just put it in the warmer box. And uh, the rest is history on these ribs, y'all. All right, y'all. We got the chicken off and then they're gonna warm a box over here. Look at these drumettes. We just buying stuff and putting it on the grill just because. Yeah, they look kind of good too. Yeah. Hey, what kind of seasoning you put on this? Um, I did a uh, paprika, I did a garlic salt, and I did a uh, I did a Montreal chicken real fast. Just try it out. See what there you go like. right there. You heard it. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna put it on the uh, screen too, that just in case you uh you missed it. That was some Montreal seasoning. Some you said garlic. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. And paprika for the color. Yeah. Paprika. There you go. Look at that. Look at that reddish color. That's where that paprika come in. And that cherry wood, I might ask. I'll put cherry wood against anything on any piece of meat. All right, y'all. Well, we'll come back in a little bit. We even put a piece on here. Sorry, I didn't record that. Actually, well, <laughs> left over. three slices, two slices left. I ain't gonna even waste my time showing it to you. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we doing it. Enjoy this day, man. Uh, we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. Look at them finished wings that we put on at the last minute. Yeah. I tell you what, comment below if you think you can cook chicken wings better than my dog. Yes, sir. What on that? Last minute chicken wings. I ain't talking about something you prepped like the day before. I'm talking about last minute. Then go to the stove, buy some, throw it out, season it, throw it on a hot grill. Show me your pictures. Comment below. And uh, we'll go from there, y'all. Hey, what's up, everybody? Let me show you what happens when you pass out instead of uh, recording that final shot. That's what's left on ribs. Uh, what's this? Chicken on ribs. Yeah, it's got a couple burgers. Two hot dogs. That's all the chicken left. Uh, my world famous baked beans. That's what's left. And then uh this mac and cheese, I think. That's what's left, right? Yeah man, we be getting down over here. Anyway, uh we'll be back in a minute to do this conclusion. Alright y'all, we back for the grand finale. Um awesome day man, awesome day. 
Sorry I couldn't get the video uh, shot of uh, all the ribs and uh, chicken coming off the grill. And the, uh, the brisket, straight up forgot about it because I was tired. That's what happens when you put alcohol with cooking in the heat, man. You pass out, you have a good time with friends and family. Uh, but it was a blast, man. It was a blast. Anyway, hope you like the video. Uh, oh, yeah, before I go, let me show you something real quick. This right here. I don't care what kind of grill you're using. If you spray your grill with this, let me show you. Canola oil. Not this particular brand. This is just what I have right now. Any kind of canola oil. It'll keep your meat from sticking to the grill. Um, obviously within reason. If you're grilling, you still got to keep an eye on it. You know what I'm saying? Especially with chicken because the skin, once it starts to crisp up, will stick to your grill. But this right here saves me a lot of time from having to clean up a lot of mess at the end. Um, you know what I mean? Food sticking to your grill and stuff like that. The meat just... I don't know, for whatever reason, it's kind of like uh, uh, seasoning a cast iron grate. Actually, I might do a video on that, too. I got a cast iron skillet I need to uh, hook up. But anyway, this right here, canola oil, is the key, man. Not particularly this brand. Like I said, I don't endorse other people's stuff. Unless you want to pay me. But, uh, yeah, canola oil, that's the key, man. So get it from the dollar store. Save you some money. But anyway, this your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Out here in the garage, about to clean up. You see Big Bertha in the background. Uh, she's cooled off. Uh, this is Sunday. Uh, you can even look right here. Part of the setup still there. Uh, the spray bottle. Got some cheap dollar stuff my partner brought over. I ain't even cracked the bottle on it. If you ever use this stuff, let me know how it tastes. This is a uh, brown sugar bourbon. You got some uh, roasted garlic. And uh, you got some spicy and sweet. He got this stuff for a dollar from somewhere. It say great value, so it might be Walmart or somewhere. Um, but yeah, uh, hit me up, man. Let me know what you think about these particular uh, uh, barbecue season. Anyway, enjoy your weekend, y'all. This your boy signing off, Mr. B. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Holla at your boy.